ASE update, Albuquerque is slowing down and we have a bunch of great new data that we want to share with you today. Uh, as you see, we have some charts that show some great trend lines of Albuquerque slowing down. This is all thanks to our new ASE or automated speed enforcement cameras. So first off, I have to bring up Mayor Keller to talk about why ASE matters and why it's great that people are slowing down. All right. So uh, just for on a personal quick note, uh, you know, this is Dan's first press conference, so you can really give him the hardest questions and haze him, all that. Um, but uh, we're lucky to have him, so he's the new PIO out at uh, DMD or Public Works. So uh, welcome, uh, Dan. So, you know, it was April in 2022 when I think we agreed, frankly, as a community, but the council and I especially, that we simply have to do more about speeding. And we were at a point where we also recognized that this is more than a tactical operation by APD, that really our whole town was just driving too fast most of the time. And uh, we also know that speeding has a name, that when we do this, even if it seems sort of casual because we're just going 12 miles over the speed limit because we're late dropping off our kids to school, that can be very dangerous and it can cost lives. And we have, uh, you know, whether it's Erica Chavez or the unfortunate long list of individuals, uh, including, of course, Pastor Graham Golden, others that have lost lives in many ways because of situations like this. So we're here to update you on sort of what we did and where we're at now with respect to that. So as a reminder, we decided to use automated speed enforcement. And we had the whole debates over what that is and how it works and so forth. So I won't rehash those. Uh, but we decided to do this and we decided to do it for real. And we said that fundamentally, we've got to change our behavior. And when you see some of these charts here, that's what you see is you actually see behavior being changed. So uh, we have here Gibson, San Mateo, uh, Unser, and Central, some different examples. But you can see the average speed uh, is going down in all situations. That is one of the most important outcomes that has become clear with these cameras. Now, we also know, look, no one, no one wants citations, no one wants tickets, but it is a method of accountability. And in government, this is, you know, sort of what we believe is important when you have a public need that we've described to slow down. So we've almost hit the 100,000 mark on citations. And as a reminder, that means 100,000 people or 100,000 cars uh, have been going, you know, more or less, we try not to advertise the exact amount, but exceptionally over the speed limit, so double digits over the speed limit. And we also know, though, that it's starting to work and people are starting to slow down. So we're expanding this program. Uh, we announced a while back we added seven more cameras, and so now folks know there are places like Unser, there's more on Montgomery, there's some on 98th, uh, there's some on Cesar Chavez, there's some on Eubank, there's some on Ellison, there's some on Lomas, and there's some on Wyoming. Again, I know it's not a state secret where they are, but I'm not going to specifically tell you where they are because they work better when you just know you got to slow down anywhere in Albuquerque. So uh, for us, though, these numbers are encouraging the behavior change is uh, actually happening. So on average, we've seen a 7.2 decrease in the average speed people are going, and we've also seen 80 8% of decrease in drivers uh, that are going over a 10 mile an hour over the speed limit. So that key safety number is down by 88%, which is awesome. So we're continuing to learn from this. We're going to continue to hold people account accountable. Obviously, the fact that we almost have 100,000 citations shows this is still a major issue. Uh, we also know that uh, even res with respect to collections, if you have questions about that, we can go into that with some of our experts. But I'll tell you that uh, we, the minute we announced booting, people started paying up and uh, booting is going to start happening this fall. And so we want to remind folks that uh, eventually these are going to affect you, whether it's your insurance. Uh, and again, we don't want this to happen. Please, number one, don't speed. Number two, uh, just pay your traffic citation. But we also know that accountability aspect, this can affect your insurance. And uh, if, we, if we catch your car and you have more than three outstanding tickets, uh, we're going to boot your car. So uh, that program is also uh, coming to fruition in the very near, near term. So with that, we're also announcing that we're going to be, again, incrementally and steadily continuing to expand this program. Thanks to our cooperation from the New Mexico 
uh, Department of Transportation, uh, we are now able to add some cameras on state roads. And a lot of people in Albuquerque don't know the difference and you shouldn't have to. And now it doesn't matter because on Coors and Paseo, uh, speed cameras are also coming, which I know institutionally have been uh, real raceways at times in our city. So lastly, I'm going to close by talking about what this means for our law enforcement. Uh, we have a lieutenant here from our traffics division. But remember, part of the challenge is that we want our officers focused on dealing with violent crime. We actually don't want our officers always having to sit there and do traffic tickets. That is a waste of their time and ours. It'd be better if everyone just slowed down, we didn't have to do it, but we understand that. So our traffic unit's gonna continue their enforcement, they're gonna continue what they're talking about, uh, but I want you to know that for every one of these citations, right, that is also a citation that did not take an officer away from taking your 911 calls. And so that continues to be our priority for APD, and that's why these cameras are so effective. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm gonna hand it over to, who's next here? Valerie Hermanson. All right, Valerie Hermanson, who's in charge of our Vision Zero Pedestrian Safety Program. Valerie. Great, thank you, Mayor. Hi, everyone. Automated speed enforcement and safe speeds are a core principle to Albuquerque's Vision Zero approach, since we know from comprehensive data that people are less likely to survive high-speed crashes. High-speed driving increases the frequency and the severity of a crash. And evidence shows that even small reductions in driver speed can have large safety gains. For example, one study found that even just a one mile per hour reduction in operating speed can result in a 17% decrease in fatal crashes. And that's why we're encouraged to see and to share some of the initial findings from our automated speed enforcement program. 10 cameras in place for one year or close to one year saw between an 18 and 88% decrease in drivers exceeding the posted speed limit by 10, 20, 30, or 40 miles per hour. And these 10 cameras also saw a decrease in average driver speed. We saw between a 0.2 and a 7.5 mile per hour decrease in driver speed, an average driver speed. Cameras installed the longest, which would be our Gibson eastbound and westbound cameras um, on, on Gibson between San Mateo and Carlisle, saw the greatest reductions in drivers speeding. For these cameras, we saw between a 74 and 88% decrease in drivers exceeding the posted speed limit. Montgomery near Eubank saw a 40 to 51% decrease in speeding drivers. Unser and Tower saw a 3.4 mile per hour reduction in average driver speed, and Unser near Deline saw a 2.1 mile per hour decrease in average driver speed. Uh, I, sh I just threw a lot of numbers out there, but I'm a big data person, and we're really encouraged by the progress of this program so far, and we're really looking forward to continuing this progress. Thank you. I'd like to turn it back over to Mayor Keller. Good afternoon. My name is Lieutenant Chris Patterson from the Traffic Division. Um, Obviously, again, I want to thank the mayor and the city council for giving us a huge tool to help slow down our drivers here in Albuquerque. It's been a big force multiplier for us. Um, on average, to cover these 17 intersections 24-7, 365, we'd have in excess of 100 officers having to sit out there every day to watch and monitor these speeds. And they'd only be able to stop one driver at a time. These cameras obviously can do a lot more than that. Um, so that's, that's, that's a huge benefit for us, allowing us to focus more on the higher speed drivers and those calls for service, those violent crimes that are going on here in the city. Um, it's, a, it's showing us that it's a, a great tool to help getting these drivers to slow down um, so that way they're not having to see us either to get an actual citation or on the scene of a crash. Uh, one thing that we've been able to do also with this data that was collected is we've been able to do some live enforcement operations with the traffic division where we go out and set up either um, before these cameras and try and do real-time speed enforcement off of the temporal analysis on times when these speeds are going on. We've conducted four operations throughout uh, March until July, um, averaging uh, going out to lead coal, uh, making over 152 uh, citations on 57 stops, going out to April, in April going to uh, Montgomery between San Mateo and Wyoming, uh, doing 51 stops and issuing 124 citations. Not all of these are for speed, obviously. There's other citations that are rolled in. Uh, April, we went out to Gibson between Yale and San Pedro where those long-standing cameras were. Uh, 65 stops for 238 citations. 
and then again in July out back out to Montgomery between San Mateo and Wyoming for 62 stops and 203 citations and that's just with the traffic division so that's allowing our field officers to focus on um, those calls for service for getting those drivers to slow down and locating these other um, violations that we can then address um, there's a lot of the drivers and it's been mentioned before some of these high excess speeds we've taken actions to go after those drivers that are driving well over those posted speed limits uh, we actually have an arrest warrant out for one of those drivers who was driving over 100 miles an hour he was also found to be driving on a revoked driver's license so we're taking efforts to, to catch those individuals who are blatantly violating the law and disrespecting the other citizens we have here in the city of Albuquerque thank you I'm sure you guys have a million questions about the program. So we have Valerie and the mayor here to answer all of your questions. Uh, they are, especially Valerie is our subject matter expert on ASE cameras. So if you guys have any questions, why don't you come on up, Valerie? And Mr. Mayor, if you want to come on up as well. I'll be there if you need me. party vendor in the state of Florida managing these citations and if so why is that um, yeah our third party vendor they're called Navo global and they're based out of Florida like you mentioned um, and um, I w it was actually before my time but my understanding is um, we you know put a request for proposals for to be able to do a speed safety emergency procurement essentially and this was the vendor that met all of the criteria that we we're looking for to be able to try out an automated speed enforcement program um, I do want to note that uh, our 20th once our 20th camera is installed our one-year contract will begin with this vendor and during that period we're going to be going out to a formal request for proposals um, uh, nation nationwide so let me just add that too I think managing is a I don't know if I'd call it managing. They're the vendor of the cameras, and that's where they do the processing. The program is managed by the city clerk's office. Uh, that's who actually manages it. Laura. Um, there was um, approximately 100,000 citations that have been issued. How many have been paid? Um, we just got that stat. Approximately 60% of people pay. Um, but as Mayor mentioned, we did do an ordinance update. So be warned, folks, the booting ordinance will be coming into effect. And um, people who go into default with their, their ASC violations run the risk of being booted or receiving a parking violation. Um, more on that coming soon. Where does the revenue go from this program? That's a great question. So um, we, we pay for our costs up front as part of the automated speed enforcement program. And then based on the state statute, um, half of that must go to the state of, um, of New Mexico. And then any remaining funds we use for our Vision Zero Traffic Safety Improvement Program. And then one more, they'll be available for one-on-one -on -one questions in the venue. What's the cost per camera? Cost per camera. We Someone will have that. that. Yeah, that we, we have that yeah. for and sure. Then what's like the ultimate goal? How many cameras would you like to see throughout the city? I think for now, you know, our goal is the 20 cameras um, and to just really get an idea of, you know, the staffing levels that we need to be able to, to put up these cameras. How are they working? You know, this, this first initial um, data analysis is a good indicator of is this going to work? Yes, it's going to decrease speeding behavior and improve driver behavior. Um, but to, to be determined on how many cameras we could have. Um, in an expanded program. If there's no other questions, we did just want to offer another reminder that these are on city streets and soon to be those state roads that we mentioned, but highways are um, state and largely federally regulated, so that's why we don't see them there, but we're uh, expanding the program on our city and state roads where we can. But if no other questions, thanks. <laughs>